Okay, today is October 26th, 4.29 p.m. Um, on another border adventure here in Pittsburgh. This uh, house is being renovated and the owner wants me to take a look to see uh, if we can get the border to work. Somebody else was here, as you can see. This is the first, the only border that I see in Pittsburgh where somebody did a combustion test. This was not done by me, so somebody's doing something correct in Pittsburgh, besides myself, I believe. But uh, we're going to take a look at this and see what happens. If uh, it works, if it doesn't, and I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, the thermostat's upstairs bad. I had to jump it down here. We're going to do a test with the test out here at 300 and see what happens. In the meantime, we're going to get started. We're going to have to adjourn this test. I started it. And the guy almost blew his boiler out. His contractor drained the system. There's a couple loose connections on the first floor. I have to come back tomorrow. But as a look at this uh, boiler, it uh, was leaking too much carbon monoxide. I'll have a further video on this uh, while I'm a clean on uh, October 27th. For the time being, I'm going to adjourn this in inspection. This is Vince Marino Plumbing LLC in Pittsburgh. Today is October 30th, 2021. I'm on a Well McLean boiler. I had to fill the system. I was here last week and I'm doing a, a combustion test. As you can see, this is putting out 211 parts per million, 215, and CO air freeze 314. This is a, a condemned boiler. As you can see, the side of it's all ru ru rusted, and uh, looks like somebody else was here before me in the past to do some checking because there's a hole in the flue. So I'm going to try to adjust the gas pressure and see if that uh, will do it. But uh, for the time being, it's still too high.
I'm adjusting the gas pressure to see. It's coming down. As you can see, it's uh, dropping. Apparently they had the gas pressure too high. Somebody that worked on this, the company before, they had putty. Like epoxy in there so nobody could touch the screw. Maybe they purposely did it, I don't know. But... Uh, I'm trying to do the honest thing here before I tell them it's no good. And it did come down. We're at, uh, as you can see, 14 parts per million. 24 parts per million CO air free, which is legal. So I'm going to halt this and uh, put my manometer on here and give a re retest. Okay, so I got the plug out. I'm gonna put my manometer here and see what I'm getting on the gas pressure. I used the, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the uh, adjusted the regulator with the uh, Testo 300. It did come down in parts per million drastically. So we want to see how much we're getting on this here. It's supposed to be 3.5. Just give me a second, I'm going to get my watch. on this before didn't uh, adjust anything. Test it out right now. So we get You can see I had to turn this down to two four three. This is supposed to be three point five to get this to operate sufficiently. So that's a little bit too low for the uh, unit. So I'm going to turn this back to three get three point five. What's supposed to be. If you're using the, the Testa, you can't, uh, you know, you gotta have the manometer on there. You can hear it increasing. I'm going to try to put it to five and see what I get. Could 
be a bad regulator? It's 3-5, we're going to start the test though again. Now I had this customer stored in the, uh, the, the meter, and I just redid the test from last week. As you can see, at 3.5, it's climbing to 152. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down. This is the setting of the valve supposed to be. And uh, we're going to uh, drop it down. I'm going to drop it down to about three, see what happens. See, I'm down here at the 3.2 and it's still up there. It's still too many parts per million. Here one, we're at 152, we gotta turn them down too low. I'm going to be down about maximum 40, not even that. I'm down to 2.8, as you can see. My manometer is down to 289, and we're still getting uh, the uh, high parts per million of carbon monoxide. We're at 55, 54. So we're going to see if that comes down at 2.8. a little bit high. We're at uh, 32, it's dropping. Thirty. It's steady at thirty now. Fifty parts per million air free, below the hundred. We're down to 2.73 on the manometer of inches of water gas pressure. Still high. That's where we're standing with this, uh, I think, uh, 
it's not advisable to run this. There's nobody living in here, but uh, to get some heat till this guy decides what he wants to do. That's uh, basically as far as I can turn this down. As you can see on my manometer here, we're at uh, two point. 7.4 inches of water column. This is supposed to run a 3.5 and my testo combustion is down to 18 parts per million, 30 parts per million air free. So in the meantime, I'm going to adjourn this to see what the owner wants to do. Until the next adventure. This is Vince Marino Plumbing LLC in Pittsburgh. Okay, I'm back here. Before I was gonna leave, I, I talked to the owner. He wants me to reset everything, so he's gonna call the uh, Home Shield home warranty. So I explained to him what uh, I'm gonna do. So he wants me to, uh, he wants me to set back the, uh, everything where I got the high parts per million and uh, print it out for him. I told him the gas pressure of this boiler's past the required 3.5, so this boiler's technically out of the dynamics that it's supposed to run at 3.5. So we're going to uh, reset this and uh, get the heck out of here. Next adventure. Okay, so we're going to turn this on and go uh, in there. So he wants me to turn this back to 3.5. You can hear it increasing here. I'm at two. I'm at three. We're gonna get up to three five. This bore gotta be over 40 years old. It's not worth to buy the gas valve, it's one inch. Probably a thousand dollars. We're at three five now. I'll show you my manometer. Three five. We'll just give it a little touch. I think the regulator shot in this because the screws are very sensitive, very loose. So we're at uh, three five. All right.
Let me set this steady. I got my my carb with my carbon monoxide checker in case it starts to go off. Okay, so three five. As you can see. We're gonna put the screw back on the, the regulator and get the heck out of here. I got two more to do before the end of the day to check, but they ain't gonna be bad. They're not a, not a year old or so. So we got the the gas pressure at 3.5. As you can see, the Tesla has increased uh, to 294 parts per million. We're at uh, 197, 195 parts per 96 carbon monoxide. The oxygen is 6.7. This uh, CO air freeze 279, it's almost 300, so this got to be shut off. I'm going to uh, pause this, save it. Finished, I made a mistake. We're going to finish the test. And uh, print it out. So we're going to print this sucker right out now. You can see my printer's right there. And the Testo is uh, working. You can see the 188 parts per million, the uh, CO air free is 281, very dangerous. I'm going to shut this off and uh, possibly I'll get back to you if I'm here replacing this boiler. I'm going to give him a price. He's going to deal with uh, his home warranty. I told him they're going to play him around. But anyway, until the next uh, adventure, take care. This is Vince Marino Plumbing LLC in Pittsburgh.